hello everyone i hope you are well in today's video we are going to see how you can generate excel formulas using chat gpt but before starting did you watch my previous video in which i talked about how can you convert your code to a specific format using chat gpt if you are new here i am asan and i post tutorials on this channel if you might be interested in watching those videos consider subscribing to the channel if you have any questions comment down to, on this video let's start today's video without any further delay so suppose that i have an excel file which is called a food sale data and i'm going to apply formulas on this file using ChatGPT. so let's open ChatGPT here i've already opened mine so suppose if you want to sum the total price i have a lot of cities uh, you can see that these are the number of uh, these are the cities and there are a lot so i'm going to see the sum of the total price here so i'm going to sum this column so you can see that there are 245 rows so we have to note that i will ask chatgpt to sum up the column from 1 to 245 row so let's ask chatgpt so here is a prompt generate excel formula for summing up the column i from row 1 to 245 i'm going to press enter and let's see what we get so chatgpt generates this formula i'm going to copy this and paste it right here and see what we get here so this is the sum of the total i'm going to generate in this cell so you have to just click on this and paste you the formula here and press enter so you can see that this is the sum we get of the total price now what if you want to uh, take the average of the total price or you can say that a unit price or maybe another number so let's say i'm going to select this quantity column and then I'm, I'm i'm going to ask ChatGPT to take uh, to calculate the average of the quantity so let's ask ChatGPT to do this i'm going to type here so here's the prompt generate formula for calculating average of column g from 1 to 245 so this is the column g and i'm going to press enter and see what we get so here's the formula ChatGPT generated it uses average function to calculating the average of the column g so in here i'm going to select this cell and just paste it right here and press enter so you can see that this is the average of all the elements in the column of quantity ChatGPT generated this using the formula of average there is a function here which is called count in excel this function can count these number of cells which contains the numbers so in here if we uh, if we want to count the number of cells of unit price so let's ask ChatGPT to give us the formula for doing that so here's the prompt generate formula for generating number of counts in column h from row 1 to 245 so the unit price is the h column and i'm going to press enter here and let's see what we get here okay ChatGPT generated the formula here which is i as i said before it's the function of count so i'm going to copy it this function this formula and just paste it right here it will give the count of all the elements here so these are total 244 rows here uh, which contains numbers because the first one is actually a uh, alphabetic row uh, which is called unit wise so it counted from row 2 and therefore it's 244 okay now what if if you find the max value from unit price or total price so there is the formula which is called max and I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate that. So this is the column I and let's see what we get. So here's the prompt generate formula for calculating max number in column I from row 1 to 245. Let's see what we get. I'm going to press enter. So here's the formula. I'm going to copy this formula which is called max formula and I'm going to just paste it right here and press enter. It will give the maximum value from the total price. So the maximum value from total price column is 817.92. You can see that uh, this is huge, so I can't find it, but it is actually a correct one. So there is another formula which is also called min and you can do the same. Uh, for example, you can copy this formula and just paste it right here. And you have to just change this function to min and press enter. So the minimum value is 33.6 and you we can find it right here but this one is actually correct. So there is a function which is called if. Using this function of if you can perform logical test and get a return value. For example if you want to know that how many number of quantities which are greater than 100. 
So you can ask ChatGPT to generate a formula for that. First of all, note that the column is G, and I'm going to ask ChatGPT. So here's a prompt: generate formula for if G column has value greater than hundred. So it will just give us the formula, and let's see what we get. So here's the formula here. Uh, which is actually for G1 means it's a, it is only for row 1 so first of all let's check for row and then we will apply to this to the whole column so this is for the row 1 but if we see that row 1 is actually a alphabetic 1 so I'm going to change it to G2 which is actually a row 2 in column G which is 33 so I'm going to paste it right here or I'm going to correct it to G2 and then just press enter there so I'm going to paste it right here in here and then paste it so value is not greater than 100 so it returns value is not greater than 100 uh, because it is 33 so now if we want to see in the whole column how many there are values which are greater than 100 so we have to generate a formula for that too so let's see i'm going to ask ChatGPT. so here's a prompt generate formula for counting number of values if g column has value greater than 100 so i'm going to press enter and let's see what we get so this is the formula that we get i'm going to copy it and just paste it right here and it will the it will return the number of elements which are greater than 100 in column 3 so i'm going to press enter so there are 38 values which are greater than 100 in column g which is called quantity let's see another function of excel which is called concatenate which merges two strings so if we want to merge this boston and cookies uh, this which is in the row 242 and column d and e so i'm going to generate formula string through chat gpt let's see what we get so here's a prompt and let's see what we get i'm going to copy this and just paste it right here so if we see that i'm going to paste it right here and just paste so you can see that it merges the two strings in row 242 which is boston and cookies and the formula is d 242 and e242 it is using the and function which is merging these two strings you can also do this with another columns you have to just give the column name and it should be an string okay so there is another function in excel which is called round off we can round off the, these decimals to the value one which is like this uh, 1.87 then it will become 1.8 so I will ask ChatGPT to generate a formula for this. Let's ask ChatGPT. So here's the prompt: generate formula for rounding of the decimal to one in column match. Note that this is the column match, which is called unit price. So I'm going to press enter and let's see what we get. So this is the response from ChatGPT. Let's try to use this formula. Select a cell and then just paste it right here. Okay. So we got an error, which is like this. Uh, I think we have to use one by one. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to just generate it for one cell. Let's ask ChatGPT to generate it. So here's a again prompt is generate formula for rounding of the decimal to one in column H for row two. I'm going to press enter and let's see what we get. So here's a formula ChatGPT generated. Now I'm going to copy this and then just paste it right here. So here's the value of the cell two, which is above right here. So it rounded off to decimal one. Now what you can do to apply this formula to whole column, you have to just like drag it and it will do this for all the rows. So there are 245 rows, so you can expand it to 245 rows and it will do the same for all the rows. Okay, so there is another function in Excel which is called sum if. Now if you want to sum the quantities, if you want to do it logically, like if the range is 214 to 221 and you want to just select this range and ask ChatGPT to generate a formula for this to sum if the value is greater than 30 or 40 in this range then just sum it so let's ask ChatGPT to do this so here's the prompt generate formula for summing of the values from 221 to 232 in column g if greater than 30 so note that the column g is called quantity and the range which I selected is 221 to 240 sorry 221 to 232 so it will select this range from 221 
to 232 and check the values of the quantity and if it is greater than 30 it will then just sum it generate the result here so let's copy the formula first of all generate it i'm going to press enter and let's see what we get so we have got the formula let's just copy it and paste it in this cell and select the cell and just paste it right here and press enter so the sum of all the values which are greater than 30 from range 231 to 221 to 232 is 659 so you can select any other range too and for other columns too which should be a numeric value for unit price too and total price too you can select any range so this was all about today's video so in the next video i'm going to talk about how you can generate comments of codes using chat so if you like the video click the like button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when i publish the video thank you guys for watching